what up, Dippers? Our plays back once again for a very special video today. I'm pretty convinced right now, and it could just be that I'm in full tinfoil hat mode and I've gone completely crazy, but I'm fairly certain that the theory that I've come up with could explain the entire Waking Titan ARG from beginning to end, how everything fits together and how it links back into the story of No Man's Sky itself. So I just wanted to make this video to get it out there before I just change my mind or go crazy thinking about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this, but that's, that's what I want to do in this video, so let's just get started. Okay, so jumping into this theory, let me first explain where this all comes from and how I think I've put all of this together. Everyone knows that right now we're kind of on the where we are phase of the ARG. We've got Wear, which is this company making the Wear headset, which is some kind of post-VR simulated virtual reality type headset that you put on and lets you almost live in the game world. So that's kind of where we're at at the minute. There's a lot of stuff going on with that company, some of it very dubious sounding, the apprehension of Dr. Zeng after the live stream that I did. Loads of crazy stuff going on and they almost seem like they could be the bad guys in the situation based on some of the ways they're handling things, like kidnapping Dr. Zeng, for example. Now, what this theory centers around is where being the main driving point, the focus behind all of this, them being like the big bad at the back of the screen, you know, behind the curtain, they're the ones that have orchestrated everything that's happened up until this point. Okay, so to kick off the video, I'm going to give a very brief overview of what my theory is. Uh, you're probably not going to be convinced straight away, but bear with me. The more we go through this stuff, I really can't help but believe that it all ties together so perfectly that it cannot be a coincidence and that this must be right. So, yeah, bear with me. Let me know what you think. And if I am missing something super obvious that makes this just completely crazy, please point it out to me before I get too excited and keep running with this forever thinking I've solved everything. So my current theory is that at some point, so I'm talking about real life now uh, on Earth, you know, in the real world, at some point far in the future, where will eventually enslave all of mankind in the simulation of No Man's Sky. And the way they'll do that, of course, is through the Wear headsets. So I think there was a lot of discussion and theory before about the Wear headsets being like the origin of how characters in No Man's Sky got stuck in the simulation, but it's never really been linked back to the real world and the ARG like blending the lines between fiction and reality. And I think my theory at the moment does this perfectly. So keep that thought in your mind. Where are the bad guys? They're developing this technology. The Wear headset is the first iteration of that. It's going to be going out to people. They're being told that it's just uh, just to play the game, you know. It's just so you can play No Man's Sky and other games and experience them in this really cool way that's never been seen before. So everyone's going to buy into this and get these headsets and have a great time. But at some point in the future, they're going to then trap everyone inside that simulation. Now, well, the way that links to No Man's Sky in the game is I think that the game itself takes place in the future. So in the real life, real world future, if you like, at some point, we've all been trapped in the simulation of No Man's Sky. And that's who the travelers are in the game. They're us. They're the characters that brought the headset in the real world and got captured and are now stuck in that simulation. So that explains the story of how we ended up in a simulation within No Man's Sky. And that links back to the ARG. So right now, what we're playing through is not the origin story of, well, it kind of is the origin story of No Man's Sky, uh, but this particular phase that we're in with Where is actually telling the beginning of that happening. It's the origin story of Where and Where's rise to power, if you like. So that's part one of the theory, and the next part is that every single phase of this ARG from beginning to end right up to now has all been kind of orchestrated, all been run in the background, all been overseen by Wear themselves. So every single company, if you remember, you've been following the ARG, there have been a whole load of companies all doing crazy groundbreaking sci-fi tech stuff. Uh, you know, we had Superlumina, we had the Atlas Foundation, we had Myriad, we had all of these companies creating some kind of crazy tech. Now my theory, is, and if you actually go back to some of those, a lot of them reference things like having a, a hidden investor that was never really elaborated on. Now, I think that hidden investor, the person bankrolling all of these companies, the person orchestrating all of this and manipulating them has been aware. Secretly in the backgrounds, each of these companies had something to offer that were needed to realize this ultimate goal of being able to have this headset that can control the entire world. And each of those companies on their own are doing something cool, but not necessarily you know, terrifying or dangerous, but when you put all of that technology together and that's led by a company like Wear that want to enslave people, that's when it becomes a dangerous thing. So that's the theory, guys. We're going to step into it in a little bit more detail and why I think it fits so freaking perfectly. But essentially, 
where they're the bad guys right now in the real world. This phase of the ARG is telling their beginning, their rise to power, how all of this took place, how it all happened and how it all begun. And the game No Man's Sky is set in the future after all this has happened, once they've risen to power and they've trapped us all within the headsets and we're living in the simulation. So let's look into the companies themselves from beginning to end and why I think that fits together so perfectly. So the first one I think we were introduced to way back in the ARG was the Atlas Foundation, led by Elizabeth Layton. Uh, they were dedicated to finding the answer to the most fundamental questions of existence and essentially what they were working on in terms of their company and their technology and their backstory was artificial intelligence and simulated worlds. Now, if you think back to my theory, I know it wasn't, it was just a second ago, but that kind of fits perfectly, right? Where needed this kind of technology? They needed to be able to create artificial intelligence that they could troll, that they could put into the simulated universe to steer things, to direct people, to make everything go how they want it to go. They needed people they could control within the simulation. And of course, simulated worlds, they needed that world to be built and it needed to be super... Uh, immersive. It had to fool people into believing they were in a real life situation. They couldn't know that they were in a simulated world. So everything the Atlas Foundation was doing was a perfect start point for what Ware needed to enact their cunning plan. Next there was Echo. Echo were utilising custom cloud computing and essentially they were talking about being able to like bring back personalities of lost ones or people you cared about back to life in a super realistic way. Being able to like get into your mind and reconstruct memories and uh, recreate memories and all of this kind of stuff. Essentially to create the perfect simulation. So again you've got the Atlas Foundation as essentially the foundation, right? The starting point for this simulated world that where we're going to steal and manipulate and use to enact their plan. And then you've got Echo, their technology being part of that, bringing that into that simulation to make it super believable so that the slaves that are trapped in there would never question it. Now, next we had multiverse technologies, and this one had me a little bit stumped for a while. I was kind of thinking this doesn't necessarily fit directly into like creating the simulation and controlling people, uh, but then I think this one actually could be a hint at what the purpose of that would be. Why would Ware want to do this? What would they get out of it? Now, one of the things that multiverse tech were researching was the computational theory of mind, uh, and they were essentially what they were saying was that the mind is an information processing system, uh, and so what I'm thinking is like that would be the most powerful information pro information processing system ever created. If it could be harnessed, if it could be tr controlled, if that could be captured, enslaved and put to use, it would be the most powerful processing system ever created. So I think this technology here and this research that they were doing could be part of what's behind the reason for where wanting to do this. Why do they want to keep people in the matrix, if you like? Why do they want to enslave them? What do they get out of it? And it's this crazy processing power that they would be able to harness from a human brain. And then we had Myriad. So this is kind of the practical part of it. This is where things start being needed to actually, now they've got the tech behind creating the simulation, harnessing the human's brain and what they can do with it. Now we need the infrastructure. We need the way to roll that out. We need to, how are we going to get this out to the masses and how are they going to practically deliver this and capture everybody in the world? Now Myriad talks about having this huge ginormous network of satellites that span the entire globe. Now to my mind, that would be a perfect system to have in place, the infrastructure that you would need to be transmitting the signals, the simulation, to, to maintaining and running all of that across the entire world for complete coverage. So that's where I think Myriad comes in. Where needed them for their satellite network, they needed them for a way of being able to actually transmit the signals out to the headsets and keep this simulation maintained across the entire planet without a hitch. Next there was Superlumina. Now Superlumina were working on uh, new and more effective measures of uh, communication through advancements in the field of particle physics. Now what I think this has to do with is the way that the headset works, the way of uh, transmitting that signal directly into the human brain through the particles, bringing that simulation to life and interacting with a person's mind. So I think the headset is using the Superlumina technology to do that. I think that's where Superlumina comes into all of this. Again, another tool, another piece of the puzzle on its own, a piece of technology that's not necessarily really uh, dangerous or terrifying it actually sounds quite interesting but then when you start putting all of these different companies work together you build a picture of wow if all of this was put together with an evil purpose behind it a diabolical scheme you know something like where would be trying to do to enslave people then it all starts to fit to get together and become quite scary and superlumina are the last ones at the moment to date that we found obviously the next one has been where 
Now, where has been pretty crazy. A lot of people have been confused with where. It's been the first point in the ARG where the ARG lore and story that we've always kind of thought beforehand was just linked to like origin story or background to the game itself. Where's kind of been the first point in the ARG where that really has overflowed into the real, real world? Like actual IRL stuff happening, real game companies mentioned No Man's Sky as a game reference instead of like part of the lore. It was specifically called out recently as, you know, we are partnered with a game called No Man's Sky and a lot of people are like well are they breaking the fourth wall there has that ruined the the lore and the story of the ARG are they kind of admitting that it's not real at this point and I think it's the complete opposite of that this is the culmination this is the point where the whole ARG has led up to it's now where all of this stuff is real it's all been real all of this technology has been like a real thing obviously in, in the law of the arg all of these companies were really developing this tech where has come along they're harnessing all of that tech and now they're trying to take over the real world and enslave us all within the game no man's sky so i think a lot of people have been suspicious about where there's been a lot of like hesitation i guess because all of the live drop stuff that's been going on all the puzzles we've been solving lately they've all been helping where they've all been trying to assist where but there's a lot of stuff like the whole dr zeng thing he went missing he had company secrets that he was trying to expose he he thought that it needed to be shown to the world you know he was basically a whistleblower right he'd found out about this diabolical plan he'd found out what the potential of this technology that we have harnessed was going to be used for he was worried about what could happen he was potentially a hero trying to get the word out there trying to save the world and stop them from using this technology don't put on the headset don't get sucked into the simulation and we actually helped where uh, through the live drops tracking down his location we help, helped where to kidnap him to apprehend him and getting back so that he couldn't do that so my theory is that we actually helped Helped the company that is eventually going to enslave all of mankind and trap us in the simulation and we had no idea that that's what we were doing so how does all of that work how does it like properly link back to no man's sky in the real world so right now uh, we've got where bringing out this new headset technology it sounds awesome everyone's really hyped and excited about it the way it would work is everybody kind of buys this tech thinking it's going to be a really cool way to play games you know it's a really amazing incredible like sci-fi experience that no one thought was possible so everyone's going to buy into this right the whole world would be buying these headsets getting trapped in the simulation without even realizing it and that's literally what it would be we'd buy the headset to play a game like no man's sky and that's why we're uh, advertising that they're partnered with the game no man's sky that's why it's referenced as a game and not part of the lore and story because where would be selling this to the real world as a you know as a, a gimmick well not a gimmick as, as like a cool thing They'd, there's got to be a reason that people would want to plug their brain into this crazy technology that could, potentially could be dangerous and the reason for that would be they think it's just some awesome game they think it's some awesome tech that they can play with and have fun with and there's no danger behind it sounds completely harmless just sounds awesome everyone's going to buy it once they've rolled them out to the whole world once everybody's plugged in once everybody's hooked up to this that's when they trap everyone in the simulation and then can start harvesting the brain power for processing and all this crazy stuff that they want to do to basically use humans as like processing tools <laughs> it's pretty crazy i mean it's kind of like the story of the matrix right but to my mind that all just fits together so perfectly every company so far that's been mentioned every phase of the arg i've always kind of thought it was just like little separate stories that explain little separate things i thought some of it was purely put in there just to give us hints about what was coming in the updates and stuff but when you think about it like this that whole story from beginning to end just fits together perfectly we had all of these companies that seemed completely separate and unrelated all doing really cool stuff really unique little bits of sci-fi technology that doesn't obviously exist but sounded really cool but then if that did exist and you put it all together and it was actually being controlled by where if where were those hidden investors that the companies mentioned if where was manipulating these companies or funding them just so that they could steal that technology and put it all together to capture people within a simulation then it all just makes so much sense and that would explain why dr zeng was trying to get information out that's why he was trying to escape that's why they desperately need Needed to get him back like all of it just adds up so perfectly to explain the whole story of the ARG from beginning to end every single bit of it makes perfect sense when you kind of think about it like this it was all leading up to where running all of this behind the scenes acquiring all of the technology and the tools that they needed to capture people within the simulation and then obviously the game no man's sky at the moment is set in that future where people are trapped in that simulation and there's no way out because in the real world outside of the no man's sky universe they're sitting there in these headsets and they're being harnessed for processing power basically used as like batteries and processing tools and computer components uh, just so where can do whatever they want to do with all of that power
<laughs> so yeah, that's that's my theory. I know that sounds like completely crazy, but when you think about it like that, it all kind of adds up perfectly. For anyone like watching this video that has no idea what I'm talking about, uh, this is all part of the Waking Titan ARG related to the game No Man's Sky. I'm not trying to say <laughs> I'm not a conspiracist. I'm not there with my tinfoil hat trying to warn the world about an evil company called Where that's trying to take over the world in real life. Uh, this is all story. It's all you know the ARG stuff. Uh, but I do think that would explain the ARG story perfectly, right? That's the backstory behind it that's how everything fits together perfectly they're not all just like separate companies that were used for different phases of the ARG for different reasons this is all one complete story from beginning to end the companies they develop the tech where's been pulling the strings funding these companies watching over them in the background once all the technology had been developed by all of these greatest minds in science and technology in the world once they had everything they needed they've now pulled that all together and the headset that they're now pushing their marketing they're selling to people as a gaming device essentially is that delivery system once people have got their headset on that's how they take control of them that's how they enact their plan that's how they take over the world so yeah i mean i really think that that fits together perfectly it ties the whole thing in perfectly it explains why the fourth wall has been broken it explains why they're talking about no man's sky as a game because no man's sky is the game that they're going to choose to do this with with the headset they're going to get people trapped in that simulation in the future when we're stuck in the simulation that's the story we play in no man's sky we we as travelers were once real people in a real world that got caught by where and have been put into the simulation and yeah i mean <laughs> right does that not fit together perfectly i don't to me it just seems like too perfect to be a coincidence i'm i'm like so convinced right now it might just be because i'm all like excited and hyped up and i'm probably rambling too much but yeah i, I really feel like we've solved it i feel like that's the story of the arg so <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed that one guys i really like i need to know what you guys think about this do you agree that that all makes sense it all adds up there's loads of other bits in there that i haven't touched on you know like emily being the atlas and stuff in the game but all of that kind of fits into this as well like she was trapped in the simulation as one of the early uh, tech companies development and all that stuff and that links more into the actual in-game lore but as like the main story behind how all of that happened and how we eventually will get trapped in the simulation and start the story of no man's sky i feel like it all just adds up perfectly yeah let me know what you think if you've got a different theory tell me if there's something i've like missed there if there's something that you look at this and you're like that's completely wrong because of this don't be afraid to tell me that. I know you won't anyway. <laughs> but yeah, like I want to, if I have missed something, I want to know because I'm getting all excited thinking I've solved the whole ARG. Uh, and if I haven't, then I'd, I'd rather stop now <laughs> than get caught up in the excitement. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that one either way, guys. I hope it was entertaining to hear my crazy rambling tinfoil hat uh, thoughts all down in a video. If you did like it, please do drop a like and a comment. And of course, make sure you stay tuned for plenty more videos on No Man's Sky and the ARG and loads of other stuff too. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Yeah, guys and peace